Hey guys, Scheming Off The Grid here. A few episodes back, Robert revealed his top five favorite Christmas movies of all time. Well, guess what? Today, it's my turn. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Cranberry Bohemian by Exile Brewing Company. It's a sour brewed with cranberries. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about some freaking Christmas movies. Back country known as the NES Punk, and you are watching Gaming Off the Grid. Right now, you're on the grid watching on YouTube, though, so you have power and electricity. All right, here we go. It is movie time. In fact, it's Christmas movie time. And it's your time. Coming off the heels of your top yes. five, which was a lot of fun. We, we've never really done anything like top five related that wasn't video game related. I know, so. and it was our first time splitting a top five. Yeah, so uh, here we go. I got to jump right into my list. We're going to start with the stop animation classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed oh, Reindeer. Oh, yes. Yeah, I believe this movie has been around since 1964. It's been out for a long time. Yeah, and it's one of those movies that I don't feel like it's a Christmas season if I haven't seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It was a close race. You had Grinch on yours, and yes. I love the Grinch too, but something about Rudolph, um, the, just the story, um, I regularly say in my daily life, the Island of Misfit Toys. Like I say that probably- well, that's because that's where we belong. Yeah, exactly. Um, I just, I love the movie. I love what it stands for. I love the style that it's done in. There's so many characters. The elf that wants to be the dentist, you know? It's just, there's so many- What's your dentist name? Crentist. Your dentist's name is Crentist. And I've always thought that it's kind of cool that like a new story in a new movie was able to come into the living rooms of households and Rudolph is now like the most recognizable reindeer. Yeah, right? he is. What are the other one's names? I don't know. Yeah. I just know Rudolph because he has his nose. Yeah. And dude, that movie's so good. I remember growing up watching that every season and that movie's so old, but it still holds up and it's still so good. It is. And I love how it's narrated by a snowman. Yeah. Like it's so cool. It is. And I've always, this is going to sound really cheesy, but the movie's just adorable. I love the part for whatever reason when he puts on that fake nose to cover up his red nose and the way he talks so he's, he's yeah, cause his nose, nose cause his nose is covered I love it it melts my heart gets me ready for Christmas every year I also feel bad when like at the beginning of the movie where he's with the other reindeer and they're mm -hmm. making fun of him yeah. like oh uh, yeah yep. but that's a great thing and it's that that age old story be careful cause the ass you kick may be the ass you kiss later in life cause yep. Rudolph saved Christmas. He did. Now let's move on to your number four. All right. This movie is, uh, it's weird. It's a modern classic in my opinion. I'm all about stupid humor and the performance Will Ferrell delivers in The Elf. I just love it. Okay. I just that was it. in my brain on my list, but I'm going to be honest. I kind of got burned out on Elf a long time ago because it, it used to be played all the time. It yeah. was, every holiday season, it was on nonstop. And yeah, it's a great movie, but I got burned. I, I haven't seen it for a couple years, to be honest. It's it's so funny. I just love, I love it. I love the, you know, smiling's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> you know, and that, you know, the, I know. You know, the Santa stuff. There's so many good jokes. Um, I love that scene where they're singing Baby It's Cold Outside and he sneaks into the bathroom. Sneaks into the yeah. shower. Dude, speaking of that, Zoe Deschanel's in this movie and I might have a crush on her. Yeah, well, uh, maybe she's going to watch. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, but I don't know. The maple syrup. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, maple syrup's a food yeah, group. Yeah, and then the that scene in the uh, boardroom where that guy, oh, uh, Peter Dinklage, he, he, yeah, yeah, and he's like calls him an elf and he like flips and out. He, like, oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that movie is so fun. I need to go back and watch it. I yeah. need to get over my burnout phase. It, it's weird because I never got that chance. Like I was late to the party on this oh, film. Were you? Yeah, okay. it was one of those things that like everyone was talking about it, so I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. And then years later, I caught up to it and watched it on TV one time. I was like, holy shit, that movie's funny. Well, it's Will Ferrell. Yeah. Like, he's he's hilarious. He is. He's a hammer. Um, so, Elf. That's my pick that's for number four. Pick. Yep. Moving on. Number three. This is going to tell you how much I love my list to have this movie ranked only middle of the pack. Christmas Vacation. Ooh, this is my number two yes. pick. I love this movie. So many quotable things. The Christmas lights, the, the squirrel in the tree. The, uh, there's so many things I love about this film. I say shitter's full all the time. He just does. a quotable thing that I say. And Chevy Chase during this point in time, he was just on fire. He was on fire. So funny. I think this is the best of the National Lampoon Vacation yeah, movies. Agree. Like I like the Las Vegas one too, um, but this one, it's timeless. I believe you mentioned 
you just have to watch it every single Dude, year. And I love when they finally sit down to eat, and he's, he's so excited, and he stands up, and he's so proud, and he goes to cut the turkey, and it just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but nothing's how does it nothing inside yeah. but it looks so good. Like yeah. that's so funny. It is, it is. The whole movie he's just getting kicked in the nuts the whole time. It's just a fantastic movie. And it has to be watched. Moving on. The next one on my list, number two, is It's a Wonderful Life. Ooh. Good pick. I think I've only seen this once or twice. I, it's one that I try watching every single year. I love the story. I love kind of, you know, you just need to kind of appreciate sometimes what you have. Some people get caught in the, what I would call the salmon stream of life, you know, and you kind of get blinded by things. You maybe lose appreciation for things. You don't know how good you really got it. And that's a similar thing that happens to George Bailey in this film. And I love I, that this movie it's not one of those movies that, for artistic sake, you watch and you're like, oh, I mean, it's pretty good for the time. This is just a good freaking movie. And the angel trying to get his wings, uh, Cl Clarence, I think, is his name. He's like a second tier angel, and he's got to save George to get that heavenly status. It's just great. He gets to kind of walk through his life and see if it's worth living or not. And I think we need to watch this movie. Yeah. It's been so long since I've seen it. It's just a good message, you know, and I think, you know, I tell people, you know, I, I work with people a lot um, in my actual professional life, and I tell people all the time, don't let short-term problems dictate long-term decisions, yeah. right? And it's kind of one of those movies, take a step back, take a breath of fresh air, try taking a look back at your life. And it's probably better than you think it is. And I just love the story this tells. It's perfect for the holiday season. I really do. Because everybody maybe is missing a family member. Or yeah. there's holidays are great. But there's also that under, there's, undercurrent there's sometimes. There's a lot of sadness that comes with holidays. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't want to talk about it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this movie does a great job. And it really um, just, I don't know if it fo refocuses me every time I watch it. If that makes sense. Like, I just... Puts things into perspective. It does. Every yeah. time I watch it, I come out of that movie feeling like, okay, let's go. Boom, let's kick some ass. Yeah. I don't know. It just really helps re refocus me. In that, life, so. that is a great pick. And I think that needs to be the next movie we watch in the game room. Let's do it. Um, I actually have it sitting out in the living room on VHS. Yes, so let's do it. I watched it last night. So, um, all right. the uh, Before we do the number one, we like keeping you guys hanging on that thread. Doing the cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about some beer. Exile, the brewery of all breweries as it comes to sour beers. Yes. So let's get that out. We've said it before on the channel. They're We've, the best sours on the planet. Hands down. They just released a new one. The cranberry sour. They released it for the holiday season. Cranberries. Yep. Yeah. Holidays. I like this. It's weird to me. Um, this is kind of like their holiday release. And I will say I'm not really in the mood for sour yes. beers right now. Um, just because of the time of year. Like because I it's love. cold out. Yeah. I love the, the, the stouts. Uh, we just had some brown ales, just the holiday lagers, those type of things. So that being said, I do really, really like this beer. Um, I don't know of the fruit series that they have. I wouldn't say this is better than the blackberry or like the cherry bohemian yeah. or the pomegranate bohemian. I really liked all of those. I'm not a huge fan of cranberries in general or cranberry sauce. So I always like at Thanksgiving, Christmas, I always skip over that dish. So I was hesitant to try this, but it does have a really good flavor. It has a really mm -hmm. good taste. One thing that I do want to say is, I don't know if it's because of the time of year or something, but I feel like it's not as tart or not as aggressive as a sour as their other ones. Yeah. It may be because, you know, it's it's the middle of the winter. They didn't want to make it as super soury because that's the sours are usually summer beers. I don't know. Or maybe that's just the way the recipe's going. Or maybe uh, it's how the crane, because that's, the, that's the, yeah, the unique part. With fruit, sometimes it will take over. Yeah, you don't know how the fruit is going to work with that blend, right? Yeah. And maybe that's kind of... That's why I love Exile Sours is because of how sour and tart they are. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is still really good. It's still really refreshing, but I feel like it's kind of simple. Yeah, if you could take this out of Exile's portfolio and say they don't have any other sours and compare this to every other brewery sours we've ever had, this would be the best sour yeah, we've ever had in life, down. right? But when we're comparing this to the... Portfolio of the best. Exile yeah. Sours, middle of the road um, for the Bohemian series. It's but still it's, good. This it's is still, still like, if you had to put it on the five point scale, we're talking a high four here, yeah, probably. It's still really good. So, great beer. And we're going to, oh, dude, we highly recommend Exile yeah. Sours. They release one every couple of months, and it's I'm always like, oh, sweet. Yeah, favorite brewery in the area um, in one of our stage props is actually a beer sign from there. Yep, we've both been hit in the head twice by it. Anyways, back into the countdown. I hate to be a copycat. Home Alone. Good freaking choice. It's but not, guess, who, guess who picked Home Alone first? Me. It's not even close. I actually took some shit recently. We did a collab with Pixel Game Squad, yeah. right? And I said in that, it's my favorite movie of all time. And somebody's like, oh, it's your favorite movie of all time. Yeah, 
dude. It is. I love the movie. I don't care what anybody says. I love Home Alone. It's my favorite movie of all time. Not just Christmas movie. I've watched this movie more than any other movie. I just love it. It puts me in a good mood. Is it the best, most well-acted written movie of all time? Hell no, it's not. No. But I love this movie. It's kind of like my favorite, you know, games and favorite music. It doesn't always have to be Abbey Road or Citizen Kane. Like, I enjoy this movie. And I love it. And it's so funny. It's such a good watch. Yep. You can see it a million times and still enjoy it. That's yep. why I love this movie. And there's so many little things here and there that you notice yep. every time you watch. And There's very few movies we put on when we're working on stuff. And we, we always have something rolling on the TVs. Where multiple times, and we've both seen this movie. Dude, collectively, what did you say? 200 times probably? probably say over that. Yeah. yeah. So every time we lose ourselves, we're like, dude, 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 you gotta, dude, this is one of my favorite yeah. parts. And 20 minutes later, we're still not editing. You know, yeah, it's we're like, still, we, yeah. it stops production. That's how good this movie is. I can't say anything on it that I haven't already said before, but uh, you know, David Stern, Joe Pesci's performance in this are unbelievable. Um, I just love everything about it. So many quotes, so many things um, that I love about the movie. I just keep saying love because I love it so much. And the uh, one of my favorite scenes in the movie, I will say, is when they talk about Old Man Marley. I think is his name, the guy that goes out and salts yeah, the sidewalks. Salts the sidewalks. And uh, Buzz says he keeps the bodies in the trash cans, and the salt turns them into mummies. And Kevin's just looking at Cindy, goes. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. I just love the, it. Then he looks up, they close the curtains. I love the old couple at the airport, too, with yeah. the earrings. Yeah. yeah, she's like, oh, how about these earrings? She's got plenty of earrings. Dangly ones. And then John Candy's in this movie, too, which back then, dude, John Candy was yeah. on fire. And he has such a small role in this movie, but he's so good in this. <laughs> yeah, do you remember when he they said, he, she's like, have you ever left your son at home once? And he, or before? Yeah. And he's like, no, but we left him at the funeral parlor once. Spent the whole day hanging out with the uh, corpse yeah so everyone at the funeral parlor left except for the dead body spent the whole time hanging out with the corpse and he's like but you know kids are resilient they'll bounce back he started talking again after a few weeks after, yeah he didn't talk for a few weeks <laughs> how, that's how, how he was trying to comfort her yeah. <laughs> it's so funny i just freaking love it so much home alone not only is my number one movie uh, Christmas movie of all time, it's my favorite movie of all time, and I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I love it. Man, that is a fantastic <laughs> list, and I need to go back and watch Elf. I need to go back and watch It's a Wonderful Life. And heck, I haven't seen Rudolph this season. I gotta go back and watch that. I really want to watch Santa Claus again from your list, because yeah. my initial reaction to that was like, whoa! I but mean, granted, I haven't seen the Santa Claus in a couple of years. Yeah. We need to watch it, just to make sure. <laughs> it's the holiday season. Hang out with people you love. Throw on some Christmas movies. If you if you like you know libations, have some holiday beers. Yeah, you can't you, go wrong. You can't beat it. Yeah, it's tis the season. Tis the season. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off the Grid. By Exile Brewery, it's a sour. Cranberry. Hey guys, Gaming Off the Grid here. A few weeks back, a few episodes. Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. A few episodes back, Robert revealed his top five favorite Christmas movie. It's my Ooh. turn. Let's talk about my top five favorite Christmas. Nope. Today it's my turn.